Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Finally, 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 we're going to put it all together and start to solve a hypothesis test, start to finish with a real word problem uh, so that you have to pull all the information out of it, find the rejection regions, calculate the test statistics, and figure out if you reject that null hypothesis or if you fail to reject that null hypothesis. All right. I've given you every uh, bit of understanding that I can impart to you on how this whole thing works, but I do believe that up until now, up until you see a real problem, there's always going to be a little bit of fuzziness in the back of your mind. So if you have that right now, if you're not totally sure what to do, it's okay because we're about to tackle that right now. Now I've given you all the tools that you need to understand hypothesis testing except for one. I haven't told you how to, to calculate that test statistic, which is the number uh, that you need to compare and see if you're on on either side of that hurdle. I've told you how to find T sub alpha, which is the threshold, but I haven't told you how to calculate the test statistic on either side of it to figure it out. So let me write this down. For, of course, this is valid for small samples when we're using the T distribution. The test statistic that you use for the T distribution for, hypoth T distribution for hypothesis testing is the following. T is equal to x bar, I'll explain that in a minute, minus mu divided by a fraction, which on the bottom is s over square root of n. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to explain what this really means, and then we're going to go and solve a real problem, and then I'm going to take even more time to explain in detail what that problem is really representing, so we're going to spend a lot of time on one problem. As we get the idea here, going on into the following problems, we're going to be able to speed it up quite a bit, but I want to really impart everything that I can teach you about hypothesis testing from this very uh, good problem that we're going to do here. So this is the test statistic. Remember in the previous couple problems I told you T, which was from the sample data, was whatever, and you compare it to threshold to figure out if you reject or not. And I told you, I hadn't told you, I told you how to calculate that T yet. This is how you calculate it. And it comes from the sample data because X bar, anytime you see X bar, that is the sample data's mean. So if you're looking at the length of the markers in a factory and you're testing hypothesis and you pick 25 of them off the assembly line and you measure their length, they're going to vary slightly. So we measure the length of them, but we take their mean, right? Because that's what we're doing. We're comparing and we're trying to figure out um, if the markers coming off the line are sufficiently different from our null hypothesis to, to reject it or not, right? So we take them and we take the mean. So that's this value here. This guy here is kind of like the established null hypothesis value. It's the established value that we think is, uh, pr previous to doing this testing, we think that it's the truth. So if we think we have markers coming off the line that's six centimeters long, right, then the population mean, that's what 